Here's a fun drinking game. Take a drink every time a celebrity looks like they want to punch me in the face. So award season officially starts Sunday, Mark, with the Golden Globes, and I don't have to tell you how excited you are or not about this happening. Well, I'm excited because Ricky Gervais is back. Let's just first okay. get that out of the way. Absolutely. What does that mean, though? Does it mean a more reverent show? Uh, I mean, I think with Ricky, it just means that people sitting at home are going to get to laugh at the celebrities. He's <laughs> going to pull no punches when it comes time to making fun of some of them. And one of the cool things about Ricky is Ricky says, hey, I'm just making fun of their public behaviors. Right, and I mean, given this is very close to when Kevin Hart withdrew as an Oscar host because of homophobic tweets and things he had in his act, do you think Ricky might pull some punches this year? I don't think so. I mean, one of the things Ricky has told us in the past is, look, it, I'm making fun of the celebrities and everyone in the audience is in on the jokes with me. Uh, he brought up making fun of Johnny Depp for doing the tourists in 2011. <laughs> and he said, hey, listen, I said to Johnny, have you seen the tourists? Johnny said, no. <laughs> the audience went crazy. They're all in it and they're all having fun with me, too. And I mean, award shows ratings in particular are all down. How wonderful would it be if Ricky Gervais hosted the Oscars this year? Uh, I don't think that will ever happen. Ricky told us. He has given the Oscar bosses uh, sort of his conditions, and his conditions are that he's able to say whatever he wants. It's so good having a job where you can get drunk and say what you want. And that is something that would not happen with the Oscars. So he would not get carte blanche? I don't think so. No. And let's talk about some of the snubs and surprises. What were you most surprised about that didn't get nominated You know, I, I was a little surprised at Clint Eastwood's Richard Jewell. I was also surprised about Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. Adam Sandler has turned in a performance that's for the ages for him. He's never been nominated for any award uh, that I can think of, uh, except for maybe a Raspberry Award. <laughs> is, that, is that a sign of them not taking comedic actors seriously at the Golden Globes? Well, well, I mean, as you know, Jane, every year the Oscars and the Golden Globes, they sort of do differ in terms of what gets nominated and what wins. Uh, the Golden Globes is a bit more of a popularity contest uh, whereby, you know, certain films get nominated inexplicably. I mean, <laughs> all we can think of is that uh, the studios probably paid the Hollywood Foreign Press mm -hmm. uh, in uh, autographs and uh, photo ops. And meals. <laughs> um, and, and so other than that, is there a trend? Um, some people were complaining some of the female directors were not nominated for the Golden Globes. Is that a trend you think will extend to the Oscars? I don't think so. I mean, yes, you, you mentioned the female directors, Greta Gerwig for Little Women. Mm -hmm. That's a film that's gotten a lot of good critical raves. As I well walked as, out early. <laughs> as well as Mariel Heller <laughs> for A Beautiful Day in the mm -hmm. Neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's hard to say. I mean, the Golden Globes and the Oscars both only nominate five directors. Mm. There were a lot of great films this year. Thinking back, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, Todd Phillips. Uh, so there's a lot to mm -hmm. choose from. And you mentioned Quentin Tarantino. We cannot uh, talk about the Golden Globes and not talk about Brad Pitt's performance in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Do you think he will also? Do you think he'll win? And also, do you think he'll get an Oscar nomination? Definitely, I think he's getting a nomination. I hope he wins. That was one of my favorite performances of the year. I also really liked him in Ad Astra, so he was kind of a double threat in uh, 2019. This is a very strange segue, but for the first time, the Golden Globes are going to have a meatless meal for the attendees. They're the only um, awards show that has a meal. What does that mean? Does it mean anything? Do we uh, care? Well, you know what? It's just, it's a cool you know, to bring awareness to climate change or whatever. But listen, most of the stars, they're just going to be drinking, Jane. They're going to be drinking the free wine and the free champagne on the table, and they may catch an In-N-Out burger later on that night. I, I sure hope so. I'd love to be there to join them. Anyways, let us know what you think of award season in general. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know via Twitter.